Welcome to my channel Green Mobat. I make videos about automatics in two languages, so make sure to watch the English tech video. And sometimes I will make short video about chess or Minecraft in my YouTube short. You can help me grow by sharing my videos or giving more advice. With that out of the way, let's start the video. Which one is stronger, last longer, or hold more pressure? Okay, let's start maybe with gas piston. Gas piston was made by aluminium mixture that had been heated until it reached its liquid foam around 700 degrees Celsius, depending on its materials. Then it put into a raw piston shape after that got machined into its final shape. Gas piston will be lighter than the first one as long as the materials and the volume were the same, but its drain flow will be randomized and the piston itself will become brittle. So in terms of strength like holding chamber pressure, gas piston might not be as strong as the force one. On the other hand, it will not expand as much as the force one if the volume and the materials are the same. So the clearance between the piston and the cylinder could be kept as minimum as possible so it will be used as a good daily commute engine that doesn't produce a lot of pressure in each chamber. The piston won't have a lot of piston slap when the engine run in colder state compared to the forged one. Next, hyper eutectic piston. Hyper eutectic piston basically the same with cast piston, but the difference here hyper eutectic piston has more silica in its mixture. It means the mixture itself will be heated much more hotter than the normal cast piston. It could reach twice the temperature of the normal cast piston. The silica in hyper eutectic piston will fill around 16 until 19 percent of its mixture. The rest will be much less the same, and then the mixture will be poured into the shape of the raw piston, and then after that, it will be machined into its final shape. Hyper eutectic piston will expand less than any other type of the piston. It will also hold more pressure than normal cast piston. It still has its weakness like cast piston. It has random grain flow which means the piston itself will become brittle. If it receives too much pressure, it will break apart. But the silica reduces the expansion and strengthens the piston. So you can still use small clearance between your piston and cylinder. And the more silica contained in it, the more it reduces the piston expansion which means it will last longer and have less piston slap compared to other two types. Next we have force piston. Force piston was made by preheated aluminium billet approximately around 400 degrees Celsius and then forged into its raw piston shape. After that the piston will be machined into its final shape. Caused by the forging process, the grain flow of the piston won't be randomized. It will follow the shape of the piston. And because of that, the density of the piston will be increased. That was why, if the cast piston and the force one were made by the same materials and have the same volume, the force one will be heavier. Because the grain flows follows the shape of the piston, like layer by layer, the piston will hold much more pressure than cast piston. It will also not break if it receives much more pressure than its limit. Instead, it will bend. But force piston also has its downside. It will expand a little bit more than cast piston, which means if the if the piston ran at the colder state, it will have a lot more slap than cast piston, since it needs some more space to expand. And also, it will damage the piston and the cylinder itself. Some manufacturers tried to mix the silica into its force piston, but at the moment, the limit of the silica contained in force piston are fifteen percent. It means it still expands a little bit more compared to hyper eutectic piston. It is understandable since silica itself needs to reach much more higher temperature to put itself into its liquid state. Pure silica will need 1400 degrees Celsius to transform into its liquid state. Not to mention, if too much silica is being forged, the piston itself might be cracked while at the forging process. So, yeah. But I might be wrong because, you know, uh, I have limited amount of knowledge. So maybe you can correct me in the comment section about the amount of the silica. 
Conclusion At the moment those three types of pistons will have their own merit. Normal cast piston will be cheap to produce, easier to be made, last for a long time but it couldn't hold a lot of pressure. Meanwhile hyper eutectic piston is a normal cast piston on steroid. Well, it is still cheaper than the force one, last longer than normal cast piston, hold more pressure than normal cast piston. For force piston hold more pressure, it will be harder to be made and it will damage the cinder more and don't talk about the cost of the production. So yeah, I think I almost cover everything. For me, which piston should I use? Well, depends on the purpose of my engine. If I want to have performance based engine, I will use force piston as my piston. But for a daily use engine that doesn't require the piston to hold tons of pressure, hyperiotactic cast piston might be the best one. And for research purpose, I might want to choose normal cast piston since it will be much more cheaper. So for me, it will be considered as one of the disposal parts. Well, see you on other video.